Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you have been here before and if you're new, thank you so much for clicking on the video and watching today. I'm Sarah and yeah, we're gonna be going over my entire MAC lipstick collection. Unfortunately, we're gonna be decluttering as well because there are some lipsticks in my collection that uh, look a little gross and smell a little off. So I'll be going over those with you. I'm not gonna be putting those on my lips, but the ones that are still good and not expired smelling or looking, then I will be applying those on my lips to share with you guys. Now most of these lipsticks I did get for free using the Back to MAC program, which I'm pretty sure it's you return six used up MAC products or old MAC products and you can get a free lipstick. So that's what I did. If you're not familiar with my channel, hey, <laughs> what's up? But I used to have like a ton of MAC products and they just, you know, got old over the years or I stopped using them and I just cashed them in for the Back to MAC program and got lipsticks out of it. And then one last thing before we start. So I have these little clear caps on most of my lipsticks. And these are by the brand called By Algary. And you can get them on Amazon and I will link them below. Basically, it's just a great way so you can kind of peek in there and see your lipstick. I like to store my lipsticks like in a, an acrylic lipstick holder like that. And I do like to keep them up like that. You know, if you don't have your clear lipstick caps, you can put them upside down like that and then you can just read the name on the bottom like that. But I like to have the clear caps and put them like that. So there's... There's that, how many times can I say that? So let's start, and this one that I was actually just sharing with you is one I will declutter because it is not looking so great. This is Pretty Please, and it is a luster, and it is just like a light, and I don't know if you can see on there, it's kind of disgusting, but it has like some film, definitely film, but it has formed a film around it, and it's, it's gross. So anyway, I'm gonna get rid of that one, but that was in my collection. I love this by itself or over top another lipstick to kind of lighten it up and to add a little bit of um a little bit of um a shine, I guess. It is a luster finish, so I need to find my cap actually, my black cap, so I can take that back to MAC. Next up is one of my go-to purse lipsticks, and this is Peach Blossom. This is a cream, a cream sheen. Looks like that. This one is on the sheer side, so it, it's one of those you can just put on without a without a mirror and you'd be just fine. So there is Peach Blossom. I love that one. And I'm just grabbing these randomly out of my little box here. So next is Angel, which is a classic color. This is a frost finish. And it's just like the perfect pink. It's right there on top. So there is Angel. And MAC describes Angel as a soft pink, which it totally is. And then next up I have Shy Shine. And this is one I'm decluttering because it's got another film. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of disgusted to share with you. But it is what it is. This is why we're going through it. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is a luster finish Shy Shine. That will be going back to MAC. Next up I have Shy Girl, which is a cream sheen finish. And this is just kind of a peachy nude color right on top there. So there's Shy Girl. Next I have Modesty, which is a cream sheen finish. And this is just a beautiful neutral color. And although it doesn't have like a film or anything, it doesn't quite smell like the classic MAC like vanilla scent. So I am gonna declutter that one just cause it's probably on its way out as far as expiration goes. Definitely don't wanna be putting something that doesn't smell like it should on your lips. And then I have Saint Germain, which is a bright, a bright kind of blue tone pink. And this one is an amplified finish. Is that right? Yeah, amplified. So it looks like that. I love this either not necessarily, I guess not by itself. I like to mix it with a nude color. So there is Saint Germain. But I think it's so pretty. It really just kind of brightens up your whole face. And what does MAC have it described as? A clean pastel pink is how MAC describes it on their website. And this one is Hue. It's a glaze. 
and I find the glazes to be very sheer and this is just like a sheer a sheer nudie pink <laughs> peachy nudie pink for lack of better description it's right there that's a great purse lipstick as well and next up I have snob which is a satin finish and this is such I just love this one so much it's a neutral what do they have it described as a neutral light pink and that's what it looks like there and I like wearing this by itself it really brightens up the face and I also like mixing it with a lighter like a really light nude just to kind of customize the the color and get it a little bit lighter but it is really beautiful on its own too and speaking of mixing colors this one is flesh pot it's a satin finish and this one I definitely don't wear by itself. I mix it with other colors. It's a little too nude for me. I don't even know if you can see that. It looks like a concealer on my hand. And it's right there on top. So that's Flesh Pot. This one is described as a pale muted pinky beige. So it's a great mixing color. This is Myth. Which is another really light nude color this one is described as a light neutral nude color and it has a little bit more peach to it so this one i can wear by itself but i do like to use it as a mixing lipstick and next up i have faux which is a satin finish and mac describes this one as a muted mauve pink and that's exactly what it is this is such a easy color to wear like your lips but better color would look good on a lot of different people so there's faux up there. And then next I have this one called Skew. This is one of my most recent acquisitions. So this one is a frost. And this was recommended to me by the Mac person, the salesperson. And it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful kind of summertime. They have it described as a coral with pink duochrome. So I mean, it's very wearable, even though sometimes the frost finishes might throw you because frosty lips aren't really that in style anymore. Anyway, that's a good one. <laughs> and then I have a classic right here for you. This is Rebel. I have had a few of these in my lifetime. This is a satin finish, and it's just like a favorite of so many people. And it's perfect for fall. Right there. This is probably the boldest color I have in my MAC collection these days. And they have this one described. MAC describes it as a mid-tonal cream plum. And next is Blankety. This is an amplified. And it's just like a beautiful, a beautiful nude. I can get away with wearing this one by itself. But I also use this as a mixing color. And MAC describes this as a soft beige pink. And going through my collection here of lipsticks by MAC, I'm realizing that I have a lot of mixing colors and I probably don't need that many. All right, so this one is definitely going back to MAC. I don't even wanna show you close up because it's kind of disgusting. It's definitely got something going on. <laughs> This one is Lovelorn and it's a luster finish. MAC describes it as an emotive blue pink, which I have no idea what that means. But yeah, I like this one. I remember really liking it. Obviously that's why I got it, but that is not doing too good right now. And then of course, I have to have Cream Cup in my collection. This is just such a classic pinky nude color and it looks so good on so many people, so many people's favorites right up there and Mac describes this one as a light blue pink I would say it's like an, just an everyday pink color I have two of the powder kiss lipsticks and unfortunately they both they don't smell like they should so they're gonna go back to Mac so I have Fultriness this one right here I don't know if I want to swatch it because I'll swatch it even though it doesn't smell vanilla it just kind of lost its vanilla scent so to me, it's just not worth it to put it on my lips. So that's sultriness. I love the Powder Kiss lipsticks so much. They're so lightweight and I just really enjoy them. Or I did enjoy them before they lost their scent. And then this one is Influentially It, which is a great mixing color. It's a really light nude color up there. 
these I'm not gonna put on my lips for you just because like it's just not worth the risk <laughs> I've had those for at least a year now so it's probably time that they go back to Mac and then my last one is probably time to retire it but I just can't it's a limited edition color and it was the Mar Mariah Carey collection and it's a cream sheen in the shade bit of bubbly and I use this all the time to mix I probably should back to Mac and declutter it because it has the cute little butterfly on there I mean I have so many mixing shades but I just love it because the packaging is glittery and it just looks like a concealer on my arm so or on my hand so I don't know if you can see it up there I don't know it still smells fine it doesn't have like a nasty I don't know I might just throw some alcohol on that and call it good for now <laughs> to be honest I'm actually probably should alcohol uh, sanitize all of these that I'm keeping all right guys so those are all of my MAC lipsticks and I'm keeping I'm keeping 14 which is more than enough and then I have six on the dot <laughs> to take back to MAC so I will be decluttering all those they just are colors that I loved in the past but the the formula these are just old disgusting looking and I will not be putting those on my lips so yeah I'm excited I can take these back and get a new lipstick and I'm pretty sure Ulta, my Ulta does back to Mac because I hope they do because I don't have a Mac anywhere near me but I'm pretty sure Ulta does it mm -hmm. so yeah you guys that is everything that's the situation with the lipsticks and the decluttering and if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video consider subscribing before you go and i will see you guys in my next video bye